This week on Midmo J, we're hunting Spoonbill, so stay tuned. March 15th brings with it the start of snagging season. For my family, it is a time to head to Lake the Ozarks and do what we can to help control the population of the paddlefish. It starts by getting the boat unloaded and getting to the first hole. What we're doing here is we're trolling down this deep water, about 30 foot of water. You can see the sonar is echoing off of the spoonbill. They're sitting about 25 feet right now in this hole. Right now everybody's trying to get rigged up. Spoonbill have a, don't have scales, so typically they show up as blips on a sonar or a uh, depth finder, as you can see right there. And usually you can tell it's them because they're stacked on top of each other. You got a fish. You got a good one. He's good. See that or pipe? One or two. If it is a fish, he's probably going to need it. That's what we got, John. The gold male. I ain't got him, but he's barely hooked. Yeah. Good job, boys. That's fish. He's gonna be right along, right on the edge. Oh yeah, that worked. I think we're good. I think we're good. But. I think we are too. He's uh 30, 34 and a half. We're good. We're right on it. 34 and a half. All right, we're good, boys. That's one. Now it was because of my expert prowess that Roger had caught that fish. My guidance was what led him to that fish. Isn't that right, Roger? No. Well, you see, I was fishing along and I seen him break water up yonder. Well, then I broke wind. Then I broke wind, and that was all <laughs> I'm telling you, boys. It done wore me out. I'm, I'm just here to tell you. So what Dad's doing here is he is letting the the sinker fall to the bottom until he can feel it, and he's jerking back against it. And the great thing about snagging is, every time you jerk, it could be a fish. The bad thing about it is, most times it's not. The thing of it is, those sports you can be a jerk and don't have to work that. <laughs> so there's two different styles whenever you're doing this. You can jerk every now and then, which is what we typically do, what Dad and Roger are doing here. Then you can kind of do what I'm doing at the moment, being a little lazy and just kind of letting it go along. And if I feel something, then I jerk. So as you can see, snagging for the most part doesn't require a lot of skill. You're basically just going down the water, keeping it on the bottom. We're using 20 ounce sinkers. You're keeping it on the bottom. And as we go, you're just jerking it, letting it back down, letting it back down until you feel it bump. And you're jerking it again. And that's basically all we're doing. We're going at idle speed. Uh, in the deeper, deeper waters. You saw earlier I, I was showing the depths were somewhere between 30 and 40 foot of water and trying to keep within You sure you got a fish? Yeah, you got a fish. You got a good one, Josh. Don't slack it, Josh. What are you doing? Stay on there, Johnny. Hey, boy. Ride it, Johnny. Oh, yeah. He's only got one hook, so be careful. You have him in the mouth. Good. Oh, yeah, we're there. We're good. good. We're good. It is key when fishing that, since you're not moving much, that you have snacks that are healthy and good for you, so that's why we're eating a nutty bar. So what we're finding is, is these fish are not necessarily in the deepest part of the channel. 
or along the edge of the channel, which you gotta kind of, you kind of, kind of meander back and forth and watch the scope and see what you see on the depth finder. So the one that was caught just now, that one we caught right about 38 foot of water. So that's where we're trying to stay right now. So hopefully we catch some more. He might be running at you, so get ready. You never know. Stick. All right. Here you go. Big old log. He spent the rest of the afternoon trolling the 35 to 45 foot deep holes, but were unsuccessful. We went back to the ramp, loaded up the boat, took a few parting pictures and started putting our gear away and getting ready for the long drive home. But we had been successful with two keeper spoonbill on the opening weekend of snagging season.